Hello, it me, a wild rose and what just appeared, and tonight is the Children of Clay. Which, just by its premise, reminds me of an old, oh, well, not an old game, but a game that I played when I was brand new to doing YouTube stuff, or at least it feels like it, about, uh, Jew like, Jewish mythology and the creation of a golem. Oh. Ah, point and click. Oh! Oh my god, what am I doing? This feature resembles a human face. Yeah, it kind of does. Looks like a metal object embedded in the artifact. It doesn't seem like it's possible to extract it. Maybe I can find out what kind of metal it is. The compass is detecting a magnetic field, so it likely contains iron. Cool. Search for... Iron? Earliest known ironwork is... Oh, this is going to be a neat game. Is dated from 3500 BC and made from meteoric iron. There are two main types of ironwork. Wrought iron or cold iron. Cast iron. And cold iron has a long and varied tradition in the mythology and folklore of the world. Okay. The iron object. Oh. Iron object. Oh, I can't put spaces. Okay. Um, clay. Pottery is the process of forming objects with clay and other raw materials, which are fired at high temperatures to give them a hard and durable form. It is one of the oldest human inventions originating before the Neolithic period, with ceramic objects dating back to 29,000 to 25,000 BC. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, magnetic. I cannot find anything relevant. Okay. Face. Face. I cannot find it. Okay. So. Huh? Oh, that's cool. Wait. So. All right. There's nothing, nothing about that. There seem to be some sort of runes, but I don't recognize the type. Maybe I can find something in my book. Okay. Runes. Jeez. Oh, I can translate the runes with this chart. Oh, good, I wrote them down. I didn't notice that. The old Hungarian script, or Hungarian runes, is an alphabetic writing system used for writing the Hungarian language. After the establishment of the Christian Hungarian kingdom, the old writing system was partly forced out due to the use of the... or due to the rule... during the rule of King Stephen. King Stephen? Really? And the Latin alphabet was adopted. However, among some professionals, uh, for example, shepherds who used the rova stick to officially track their number of animals, the script has remained in use. Old Hungarian letters were usually written from right to left. Oh. E okay, so it's U. Uh. R. Er. Um. Yuri. Is that an I? Yeah, that'll be an I. Yuriu Yurian 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 Could not find anything. That's probably not correct. Um runes. Let's try again. Hang on. I'm going to take a little bit to look this over. Erdung Erdung Oh, there we go. I thought that the um, D was an I. There were two different characters that looked similar. Erdung, Old Hungarian, is a shape-shifting demonic creature from Hungarian mythology and early Hungarian paganism who controls the dark and evil forces of the world. After Christianization, it was identified with the devil. One surviving folktale about Erdung involves one of the spawns of Erdung arriving to Earth and the shaman of the village consulting the spirits to learn how to trap the creature. Okay. Ah. What awesome most of that you have. So this isn't Jewish golem stuff. This is Hungarian shape-shifting demon stuff. Looks like the dark liquid loosened the metal object. Oh, good. Is that a nail? That's a nail. Outstanding. Gotta love it. Oh, no. I don't think I want to know. Great. 
exempt from the newspaper article titled The Children of Clay. Just a few months after the disappearance of the esteemed archaeologist and the incident involving a broken artifact, the team working on the remote site in the Urals has made an astounding discovery. A previously unknown underground chamber containing a dozen similar clay figurines has been discovered. They are already in contact with several universities across the globe to further study them. That's not a good idea. The Children of Clay. That was very short, but interesting. I like that. Well, friends, that was the Children of Clay. Small, sweet, simple, but neat. And I learned some stuff about Hungarian myth. Anyway, proud of you guys. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a good night. Bye.